Okay, guys, today is the day. I've been contemplating a big trim from my beard. been doing it, really contemplating it for months and months. Um, going down to almost a clipper beard, just for summer cut, just to play around with it to see what it looks like. Not sure if I'm going to get rid of the totally separate mustache, but definitely trim that way back. Uh, I may um, tuck it all in and, and make it nice and clean. And hopefully I want to show this to you on the video as well. So guys, welcome to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. I am Brian, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. And today we are doing a big beard trim. This is the before, and we'll see what the after looks like in just a minute. But um, right now you see how long it is. And on the bottom, it's relatively flat, kind of not exactly bell-shaped, but uh, from my type of beard that I usually go by, it's pretty flat on the bottom. So you've got options here with this line on how far you want to take that up and curve it and, or round it or keep it straight and all of that. And I think I want to go all the way down to the longest guard on my clipper um, and then fade everything up here and uh, tighten everything up, get the lines a little cleaner and just kind of rock that for the summer. Let it grow back out a couple months and uh, see where we go. But I've, been, I've kept this style for a really long time. I had it longer at one point, didn't really like that. So then this is what I settled on. Uh, I feel like it's a pretty good look for me. Uh, most of you guys know me to have this particular look, but we're going to change it up to today. So uh, we'll try to show you a couple different things along the way. So I'll come in and do the commentary uh, like I've done before on my beard trims and maybe show you a couple different styles. All right. So uh, let's do that. But in order for me to, to give you the commentary, you want to see the final product. So uh, I don't know what it's going to look like either, but here we go with the start. Here's the final results. Uh, it's short. It's short. It's going to take me a while to get used to it. It's actually been a couple of days, two, three days ago, two or three days ago. Uh, but anyway, you can see how it looks. We're going to give you the full breakdown on how I did it, give you a little commentary along the way. So let's go ahead and get that started. So I've got my Brio. The first thing I wanted to do is kind of show you what I normally do. And I learned a lot of things along the way. Um, one of them is that uh, it's a whole lot easier to make small adjustments, like you've already got a nice line uh, shape established. So this is what I normally do is to uh, is kind of round the front of uh, my beard and kind of work on this line and uh, getting it a little bit curved in the back because it usually wants to flatten out and get kind of angular right back there in that corner because the, the, the corners like to grow down quite a bit and then the front grows and it kind of gets like a horseshoe effect if I'm not careful. So I wanted to go through this and I've done several other beard trim videos. So this part won't take long and we'll get into the, uh, the real uh, meat of the video here where we do those cuts. When you're making big changes, uh, it was a little bit unnerving even for me who loves trimming my beard and do it all the time. But after I've trimmed it this short to kind of maintain this, which I plan on maintaining this for, for a few, a uh, couple months at least before I grow it out uh, longer again. I don't know what style I'll go back to, but I'm really having a hard time adjusting to the how narrow my face is here. I feel like I've cut off 70% uh, of my beard and half of my face, but uh, I'm starting to get used to it a little bit. So when you cut the bottom of your beard and like I get it rounded and stuff, but you want to keep everything in proportion. So it depends on how poofy these sides are. And to me, there's like a magic triangle of uh, you can either use trimming to keep the sides in place uh, or you can use product or you can use heat and it's some sort of balance of those three. So the longer and bushier this is, the more you might have to rely on products um, or um, heat to get it to lay down exactly the way you want or you can kind of trim it into place. So that's kind of the uh, the hedge trimming idea. And I haven't done the, the hedge trimming in a while. I've been letting all of this grow out nice and thick and nice and bulky. And now I'm gonna kind of show you what that would look like to really clean up. You kind of see a little bit of um, unruliness on the sides. But uh, so I put on the six guard and this is where you just go straight down with it. And that really gets the, uh, just like you polished and, and kind of straightened the bottom of the beard, you're doing the same thing with the sides, like trimming a hedge. Uh, you're, you're really you're in control in control of shaping your beard when you do that particular uh, move, and usually just kind of stay around the sides. And once you get out here, you do less and less of it, unless you you know there's a real problem area and you've got super thick growth. 
But you can see the difference on that left side and the right side right there in that shot. You can see one's just a lot cleaner without having to use heat and products uh, on it. So I just used oil on my beard, you know, several hours earlier. No heat or anything like that. I knew I was going to be going in further than what the heat was going to uh, be responsible for doing. So it didn't really matter. And now I'm doing the other side. And that's controlling the width and kind of getting you that you're finishing your shape of it. And it just depends on your beard and what you try and keep trying different things. I kind of settled in for what I thought my thought looked good for my face for, for a couple of years, actually. But there you go. And now you kind of played... Uh, you, you'll go shorter here and then you say, okay, it looks too wide and you bring in the width. You're like, okay, now it looks too long kind of idea. Um, anyway, and from there, I would like clean up my mustache and all of that stuff. But I knew I was going for the big trim. So now I got to put on, uh, I put on the longest guard I could and opened up the, uh, the clipper as wide as I could open it. By the way, I'm using my Brio. Been using that thing for over three years. Uh, wonderful, wonderful trimmer. So here we go. I'm just going down the shape of my beard and then going underneath my chin. And that gives me somewhere to start. And it's going to look like a big old mess here for a while. Um, having to cut a new total shape into your beard is not fun. Uh, but I'm kind of going along with the curve on, under my chin. So I was actually following my chin. So you can start to see what it looks like right there there a little bit and then it's going to look way too poofy even though i did some hedge trimming earlier this that's not going to match this really short uh, bottom of my beard although i think it would be a little bit easier for me to adjust if i didn't uh, bring down the side so much uh, as far as being able to adjust to it uh, in my brain but we'll get to all of that coming up and this looks like a big old mess. Um, I think if I were to do this more often, uh, it, I would get a little bit faster and more efficient at it. But there's no need to be in any hurry. And I got to a certain point and I just went and said, OK, that's enough. And I went and washed it and came back and did just a little bit more to it, but not much. So now I've uh, changed my uh, angle and now I'm coming from the bottom and that got everything closer to my neck. I'll have to reestablish a neckline a little bit. I don't have super thick undergrowth, underbeard. So I don't have to worry about it too much, but I did have to uh, kind of reestablish some things. And just, I realized, you know, you go back and look at pictures. My, I feel like my beard looks long, not when I'm looking in the mirror, but when I go back and look at pictures, it looked long. And now it's kind of uh, a little bit different. Now I like the pictures of my beard when it's short, but looking in the mirror, I feel like I've got no chin left and it's all come in at, a, a, you know, at this severe angle when before it was out here. And, and more bushy, as you can tell right there. So now I took the guard off, closed up the uh, closed up the little um, slide, and then going in and kind of reestablishing my neckline a little bit. And guys, I would highly recommend trimming your beard on a more regular basis uh, than having to try to do something like this. I've heard some guys say that, like, you know, I want to let it really grow out so I can, uh, you know, cut the shape into it, which works, but. For me, it's a whole lot easier to trim it every three weeks and make smaller adjustments on what you've already done and, uh, than um, doing it all at one time. And it didn't uh, take long to realize I do not want that big separate mustache with a short beard. It kind of starts to look like a beard stash kind of idea. And to me, it just looks out of proportion. So for a shorter beard, I like a shorter mustache. I still have a nice full mustache. I didn't go down too far, but I realized I didn't want the big, uh, the big handlebars, the big swoopy mustache, if you want to call it that. So I put on um, a smaller guard. I think I just turned it around and did the 15, uh, and then I'll realize that that's not enough. So I'll go down again, and then I'll try to edge out around my lip line. I haven't had an uh, upper lip in a long time. So definitely going to be keeping this for a, you know, a couple months at least. I mean, it'll grow out some and I'll kind of do some small, small readjustments. But uh, I'm not particularly fond of it right now. I'm still getting used to it. I kind of like it. And then I kind of don't. Uh, my wife really likes it. So that's always a plus. So now I'm digging through. Man, I'm making a more noise. I'm digging through the drawer and finding the next guard down. So it's 12 or a 9 is what I went to uh, next. 
um, to get some more bulk out of that mustache before I cut into it. I think I've had that big mustache ever since I grew it out. Uh, uh, what did a is it six or eight week um, mustache challenge with uh, Matt from No BS? I beat him that time. Uh, even though about a year later he grew his out and it was really epic looking. All right, so now I've got my uh, Brio Axis trimmer with a T blade, so you can actually buy a different attachment to it. So uh, I probably didn't use it exactly right here, but I tried to kind of cut around my lip line. I should have held it more uh, kind of perpendicular to my face when I got in there, but I was trying to kind of cut a new line uh, in it, but I could have kind of swept it sideways. But my mustache was already used to going sideways, so I needed to do something that was a little bit uh, going against the grain, if you will. So there I am. There we go. There's, there's where I turned it uh, perpendicular and that got a little bit better. All right, but still have a nice full mustache. So I think the next thing to do is to start working on those sides. So we can do uh, what I was doing earlier with the, um, you know, the hedge trimming and go down that way. I could have turned the guard around and, and did up, and I did a little bit just to, to blend in my sideburns. Um, but I pre predominantly go down with it, like I did before. So if I did put on a smaller guard, I think I put on a three guard, just to give me a little bit of a, a buffer. Yeah, I think that was the three guard. Yeah, I kind of wish I would left just a little bit more through here, but it'll grow back. It'll be fun to kind of adjust to some things. Uh, one thing I've noticed now is now I can use a comb again. Uh, the, just the, the amount of curl I had to my beard, I couldn't really use a comb, uh, but now I can use a, um, I've got a Chicago comb number one, works really good right now. I could probably go back to my Kent combs if I needed to. I'm taking a little bit out of the sole patch area. And then trying to get here because my, you know, it was a separate mustache. I'm trying to get it back together. So I was trying to blend that in just a little bit more. And I know that bottom line's still kind of a mess. It looks better now. I've got one, one wonky area right here. This is where I've got some patchiness. I know it's, it may be hard to see on camera here, but um, this has always been my weak side. So I've, it's, it's kind of doing something wonky here. Hopefully I can get that adjusted over the next few weeks as this part grows out a little bit longer. All right, so keep picking it out and then I'll get to a certain point and I'll just stop. It's like, that's good enough for now. I'm starting to have, can you tell I've got regrets in my eyes? I got, I got a little bit of regret here, but uh, too late now. So now I'm going back in and that's still the uh, axis there with the T-blade, still good to do any kind of lining with. So you can line your cheek lines or the bottom edge or your neckline or your back line. Uh, really good to do because that T-blade sticks out a little bit further so you don't have to uh, hold it at a weird angle so you can stay pair, uh, perpendicular to your hair there. And I could tell I didn't want to do too much right in here because um, you could tell where it had waves from where it was a little bit when it was longer. Uh, so I, I was, that's the part in the front there that I, need to, I needed to wash and do a reset on it to see how it was going to lay. And I did, and it, it laid pretty much fine. I really didn't have to go in and do a lot more, even though it looks a little bit wonky right there. And it always takes a while to adjust to a new beard trim, even if you just trim it a little bit. Um, every beard trim takes you a few days to get used to it. And for me, my beard felt, um, it felt a little bit 
coarser, right? Because it's shorter, um, but it's starting to, you know, so it takes me a while to, I can't do a whole lot of uh, testing products. I've got some more reviews coming that I've already tested them when my beard was longer. So it's kind of hard to tell um, if the beard oil is making it feel, feel soft and the beard butter and that kind of stuff. But I have a feeling we'll be getting back to some balm life a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be sticking out uh, very much through here. I guess I'm so used to my beard being out there anyway that, uh, you know, having a little bit of hairs out of place. You know, what I used to think is out of place is not really out of place because nobody can see it but me. Uh, so now I've got on, I think that's the six guard and that's just blending it into my hair a little bit. So just blending the tops and the sides, sideburns really about like that. So everything above there, I was uh, kind of easing my way into it. And then I didn't get a haircut. I'm, I'm still about a week or two, probably two weeks from my haircut. I think that'll help a little bit more and um, fine tune everything a little bit. Yeah, and I'm sorry, if, guys, if this has caused you some pain watching me do this, I apologize. But maybe we can learn something along the way. His hair. It'll, it'll grow back. Uh, sometime over the next couple of years, I'm sure I'll get to the head shave because I don't have a whole lot left up there. I got some. Um, that's no fun dealing with that. Yeah, so I was looking at this area and it was a little bit wonky. But that's just part of having a, a weak spot there, weaker side. I think we're just about done. All right, so I'm going with the scissors now and getting that a little bit more round. And then working on the back line. So you'll see me uh, brush it. everything it's kind of back at a 45 degree angle. You can catch more of that because you want it to be a little bit more defined with the shorter beard. So you can get it shorter around the, 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 this back edge. And you can kind of tell the hair just needs washing and getting a reset to it. I need to wash my beard there. So now is where I just swept it back a little bit more. And then I've, I was going up one more time on that back edge. Yeah, my mustache still is kind of weird where it goes in and tries to blend into the beard. I think it'll get a little bit better over the next few weeks. And one more time. Are we about finished? Let's see. Yeah, we're just about done. I'm just combing it through. I got a, a round boar bristle brush. A lot of times what I'll do here is I can get some volume into this area above, yeah, right there. I can usually get it to poof out a little bit more because I was like, where did my face go? <laughs> Smiling for the camera. I just I wasn't feeling the smiling for the camera, but there it was. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I should put a warning at the warning label at the beginning. What do you think? Uh, so, so I don't want you guys to have uh, have heart palpitations watching me do that. But at least you know what it looks like, right? Before I started trimming, so maybe that'll help you. So I'm enjoying it uh, still. I, I enjoyed the profile picture. 
I, I think that looks good. When I look straight on, my face looks real narrow. I got a long neck now. Uh, anyway, we're going to keep this a while. And we're going to probably do a couple more videos about how to maintain a short beard. We'll talk about some balms. Um, we may do some more, another trim where I just kind of show you how to maintain a short beard. But anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions. And uh, guys, we'll see you soon. Thanks.